Today we're going to talk about mixed problem solving with integers. I'm going to give you a couple of scenarios where you have to use adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. And do you know what to do when you encounter each operation? So, in, in the North Pole where Mr. Joe gets to visit the elves, the temperature at 6 a.m. on January 1st was negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. During the next uh, eight hours, the temperature rose three degrees per hour. Then during the next four hours, the temperature plummeted, dropped two hours, two Fahrenheit per hour. Finally, in the next seven hours, it rose five degrees Fahrenheit per hour. What was the temperature at 1 a.m. on January 2nd? So I'm going to extend this a little. Because I want to show you a vertical number line. This vertical number line represents a thermometer to help us out. So the temperature at 6 a.m. on January 1st was negative 30 degrees. Mighty, mighty cold there. I had my parka, my jacket, everything. During the next eight hours, the temperature rose 3 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. So it rose 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So it rose. Each hour it rose, it went up by three, by three. So went up 24 degrees from here to here. So what will the new temperature be? Let's see, we have 30 negatives and 24 positives. Do we have more negatives or positives here? More negative, by how many? By six. So we are at negative six degrees right there. Still really miserably cold. Then during the next four hours, oh no, the temperature dropped two degrees per hour. Let's use a different pen color. So we're at negative six. It dropped two. Drop another two. Drop another two. Drop another two. It seems as though it dropped eight degrees. So let's think. Four hours, it drops negative two per hour. So that's 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 4 groups of negative 2 is negative 8. So we're at, if we're at negative 6 and it drops 8 more degrees, what temperature are we getting now? Well, I know it's going to be negative, but by how many? All negatives here. Negative 14. Finally, in the next 7 hours, it rose 5 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. Yes, warmer. So, it goes up, so let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 1, so that's, how many, did I draw, did I do 7 hours? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hours, I did draw 7 hours, and it rose 5, 10, 15, 20, to 5, 30, 35 degrees. So where are we? I think we're above, yes, I mean, we're definitely above zero. So it's kind of warm now. It's much warmer than we started. If we are at negative 14 and it went up 35 degrees, do we have more positive or more negative? More positive, but by how many more? By 21 degrees Fahrenheit. So 21 degrees Fahrenheit. So the final answer at early morning of January 2nd, it is 21 degrees Fahrenheit. Still freezing. So now that we kind of got that, whenever I do adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing integers, I always use this to help me out. Adding, I'm not going to really go over because I try to do it intuitively. Think, do you have more positive or more negative number? But by how many? But for subtracting, in my generation, a lot of parents have learned it. It's called add the opposite. There's another way to learn is this one. Change the minus to a plus. Change the sign of the next. And all you do is add them up as if they were a plus. For example, if you have a question like negative 6, take away negative 2. You have 6 negatives. You want to take away 2 negatives from it. Negative 4. But how do you get that? You can draw, you can model, you can use number lines, many ways to do it. Or you can think of, write this as an addition expression. Because addition expression is just changing the minus to a plus, changing the sign of the next. And all you do is add them up as if they were a plus. 
six negative with two positive, you're going to have more negatives by how many? By four. Negative four. And what about multiply and divide? Multiply or divide. The good thing is one song for two operations. Multiply or divide is an easy thought. Same signs are positive, different signs are not. So if you have negative two and five, it really says this. What is the opposite of two groups of five? Well, two groups of five is ten. Opposite is negative ten. What about this one? It really is saying, what's the opposite of two groups of negative 5? So two groups of negative 5 is negative 10. Opposite of that is 10. But let's look at ours here. Multiply or divide is an easy thought. Same signs are positive, while different signs are not. So same signs, positive. Different signs are not. So let's go through different questions. Let's start with this question. Wei and Curry were digging the sand at the beach. Wei dug a hole that was 15 inches below the surface. You know, well, let me draw this. Here is a hole. This is Wei. Negative 15 degree, 15 inches. Uh, his friend Curry. Dug another hole. I guess this hole will be right here. And his was negative 9 inches. What is the difference in the depths of their holes? So let's start with Curry. His negative 9. And Wei is negative 15. Difference. Subtract. So, oh, let's turn this to an addition expression. Change the minus of the next. So change the minus to a plus, change the sign of the next. Then all you do is add them up as if they were a plus. So do we have more negatives or more positive? We have more positives. But by how many? By six. You might say to yourself, why did we do negative 15 minus negative 9? Distance is always positive. So what's the distance between Curry's hole digging and Wei's hole digging? There's a distance of six inches between these two men. Is it boys or whatever? Two boys, two men, whatever who is digging this. So let's try the next one. A computer lost two points each hour for six hours. Ooh, not good. Describe the total change to stock after six hours. If you want to, you could draw a number line. So, negative. In the first hour, it dropped or lost two points. In the next hour, it lost two points. So it would be negative four. In the next hour, it lost two more points, negative six. In the fourth hour, it lost two more points, negative eight. In the next hour, it lost... Two more points, negative 10. And then in the final six hour, I lost two more points again, so negative 12. Isn't this just repeated addition right here? Negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. So six groups of negative 2 is negative 12. Or multiply or divide is an easy thought. Same signs are positive, different or not. Alright, an actor loses 15 pounds for a part. Good for him. But then he gains 20 pounds during the filming of the movie to go along with the story. So I guess he got fatter in the uh, movie. Who knows? What is his change in weight? So he started at 15 pounds. Oh, sorry. He started with losing 15 pounds. Then something happened. And then he gained 20 pounds. What is this change in weight? Did he lose more weight or did he gain more weight? It seems as though he gained more weight. But by how many? It seems as he gained 5 pounds extra by the end of the movie. Of course, an actor, he can lose it right away. They have personal trainers, right? 
And last but not least, Mr. Diaz decreased the speed of his car by 30 miles per hour over a period of 10 seconds. So in 10 seconds, he decreased, went down, like from 80 to 50. I don't know, 50 to 20, because it's school zones. Well, that shouldn't be even driving that fast in, near a school zone. Determine the average change in speed each hour. Let's see, decrease, negative 30. Decrease, negative 30. Uh, over a period of 10 hours. I'm oh, sorry, period of 10 seconds. So you drop, so negative. So this is the speed, 10 seconds. So each second, how much will he be dry? Well, he has to have to drop. I think he has a drop. Well, from what I can tell, looks like he has a drop. Negative three miles per hour, his speed, each second in order to accomplish this. So if you need to check your answer, negative three, negative six, negative nine, negative 12, negative 15, negative 18, negative 21, negative 24, negative 27, negative 30. So each second, he had a drop three uh, drop three in speed. Drop means negative. So keep on practicing. Uh, you will have a worksheet on this. Um, to keep on practicing and uh, use the song, use modeling, use number lines to help you differentiate what to do for each operation.